Hey DC, I'm Evan. And I'm Christian. And here are your current events for Friday, January 16th. Attention all students planning to go to Kona. Next week you need to attend one of the following mandatory meetings. Meeting 1 is Wednesday after school and meeting 2 is Thursday at 7.40 a.m. Both meetings will be in Mr. Easley's room. If you cannot attend either meeting, you must see Mr. Easley before Wednesday. In order to go to Kona, you must attend one of these meetings or speak with Mr. Easley in person. If you have any questions, please contact Mr. Easley. Attention all female students. Any girl who would like to be on the track team needs to contact Ms. Fortney in room 222. Attention all students. Beta Club is sponsoring Teens for Jeans through Aeropostale. Donate your gently used old jeans to teens who are in need of them. There are over 1.5 million teens experiencing homelessness in the U.S. In seven years, 4.3 million pairs of jeans have been donated. Let's keep it going. A drop-off tub will be in the front office. You may bring your donations until February 15th. Attention students that play intramural basketball. Intramural basketball schedules are available in Miss Knight's office. All games will be played on Sunday afternoons. Games are at 3, 3.45, and 4.30. No changes will be made to the schedule. Attention photography students. Please pick up your photo enlargements today. Attention all freshmen. The DCHSA the academic team is competing in the Owensboro 9th grade academic tournament on February 21st. If you are interested in competing in quick recall or written assessment at this competition, please see Mr. Hayden in room 170 or Mr. Easley in room 141. If you competed in the academic team last year as an 8th grader, this is your chance to get involved at the high school level. And no, it's not Frosh Fest. All DCHS students are invited to attend any or all of the following ACT prep sessions. Sessions take place in the CCR room and begin at 3.20 p.m. These prep sessions will give an overview of the ACT, share test taking tips, and will provide study materials. Please see Ms. Colbert in the CCR room for more information. The next session will be Wednesday, January 21st. Here's what's going on this weekend at D.C. Lady Panthers basketball team is traveling to take on Henderson County starting with the JV game at 6 p.m. The Panthers basketball team is hosting Ohio County starting with the JV at 7.30. The D.C. bowling teams are hosting Barron County starting at 8.30 a.m. on Saturday. The D.C. speech and drama team is traveling to compete with the Louisville Assumption competition. And the D.C. wrestling team is traveling to take on Hopkinsville starting at 9 a.m. on Saturday. That's all your news for today, D.C. Have a great long weekend, and we will see you on Tuesday. Sports are up next. Good morning, D.C. I'm Erica. And I'm Austin. And here are your sports news for this week. Last Friday night, the Panthers basketball team defeated our tribal Apollo with a score of 48-31. to Leading the way for the Panthers were Stuart Curry with 20 points and Marshall Griffith with 16 points. On Tuesday night, the Panthers basketball team defeated Brett County 71-64 in overtime. Leading the way for the Panthers was Marshall Griffith who had 22 points and Stuart Curry who had 20 points. Good luck to the Panthers as they host Ohio County here tonight. Come out and show your support. This past Friday night, the Lady Panthers defeated arch rival Apollo 65-42. Leading the way for the Lady Panthers were Emma Johnson with a game-high 18 points, Lauren Trantham with 15 points, and Skylar Walden with 12 points. On Monday night, the Lady Panthers defeated the Lady Eagles of Ohio County 47-40. Leading the way for the Lady Panthers were Skylar Walden with 16 points and Katie Buskell with 12 points. On Tuesday night, the Lady Panthers traveled to Christian County and defeated the Lady Colonels 47-34. Good luck to the Lady Panthers as they will be traveling to take on Henderson County tonight. This past Saturday, the Panthers wrestling team traveled to Paducah to compete in the Steve Johnson Classic. Skylar Martinson and Quentin Davis finished first in their weight classes, and Tristan Davis finished third. Overall, the Panthers finished fifth out of 17 teams. Good luck to the wrestling team as they travel to compete against Hopkinsville on Saturday. Last weekend, the D.C. Swim and Dive team competed in the City County Championship at the Health Park. The Panthers finished second with a score of 275. On no. Tuesday night, the D.C. Swim and Dive team competed against Hopkinsville at the Health Park. The boys placed second with 87 points, and the girls placed first with 89 points. Overall, D.C. finished with a score of 176. Here are some individual results. Girls 200-yard medley relay, D.C. finished in first place. Boys 200-yard medley relay, D.C. finished in second. Girls 200-yard freestyle, Samantha Phillips finished first. Boys 200-yard freestyle, Eli Cooper finished first. Boys 200-yard, I am Jacob Taylor finished first. Girls 50-yard freestyle, Emma Fenwick finished second. 
Boys 50 yard freestyle, Hayden Carmen finished first. Girls 1 meter diving, Katie Wilmes finished first. Boys 1 meter diving, Jackson Morris finished first. Girls 100 yard butterfly, Samantha Phillips finished second. Boys 100 yard butterfly, Jacob T Taylor finished third. Girls 100 yard freestyle, Emma Fenwick finished second. Boys 100 yard freestyle, Zach McClell or Zane McClellan finished second. Girls 500 yard freestyle, Macy Quisenberry finished first. Boys 500 yard freestyle, Eli Cooper finished first. Girls 200 yard freestyle relay, DC finished second. Boys 200 yard freestyle relay, DC finished first. Girls 100 yard backstroke, Georgie Sook finished second. Boys 100 yard backstroke, Noah Taylor finished second. Girls 100 yard breaststroke, Mar Maris Dees finished second. Boys 100 yard breaststroke, Justin Fraser finished second. Girls 400 yard freestyle relay, DC finished first. And finally in the boys 400 yard freestyle relay, DC finished first. And finally in bowling news, over the weekend, the bowling teams competed in the 36, tur 36 team tournament at Louisville PRP. The Lady Panthers finished fourth and the Panthers finished sixth. The top girls bowlers were Amber Stasek, Morgan Stone, Emma Owen, and Brittany Lake. The top boys bowlers were Briar Harper, Austin Payne, Cameron Easler, and Brody Cecil. Good luck to the bowling teams as they host Barron County on Saturday morning. That's all your sports news for this week, DC. This week on Student Life, we're asking students to finish the song or what the song is. Yo, Vanilla, kick it one time, boy. Yo, VIP. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. Shake it off. No, I have no idea. I've never listened to that. I don't listen to Bon Jovi. Uh, oh. I told her way up yonder past the caution light. There's a little country store it's with an, an old, old coat sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Don't look the other way. Okay. Something about whether you're brother or mother, you're staying alive. Staying alive. Something like that. Until you hate me. <laughs> you look like my next mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Love Me Harder by Ariana Grande. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, the drums, they swing low. And the trumpets they go do 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 do. Is that it?